this is on the website and you can go view it or you can tell those of your neighbors and friends for less than a 10 minute uh, video. This is all online and it goes through in a lot more detail than I'll be able to go through today. Um, a couple of three points that I want to leave you with. Number one, the, the failed election in February is where this all came from. We expanded the group, we added about another 15 to 20 members to the facilities committee and basically uh, we went back to the community at large, got a survey response of over a thousand people, and what's in here now is what people said, yes, we want that and we want that now. And so what will happen is sometime in the, in the future we will come back with a, a second proposal that will talk about how to restructure secondary schools. That's going to be a big focus for us in a future bond election. It has nothing to do with this one, just like every other bond issue we've ever voted on in Bartlesville. Each one has to stand or fall on their own. So this has no tie, no way ties anybody's hands to, to do anything down the road. Uh, what you'll see here is that last time, about a third of the total uh, proposals for operations and maintenance type of issues. This time, three quarters of the proposal is for those type of issues. Um, basically, what we're doing here is moving kids out of portable classrooms at Kane Elementary and then everything else along the operations and maintenance side of um, you can go through and see these, and, and for example, I'll just use one of these uh, curriculum, the first one on the top. The state gives us about $55 a year per kid for textbooks. That doesn't begin to cover what the cost of a textbook is, so we have to supplement that with bond money. We've done that for decades. I would venture to say, I, I can't imagine a school district that doesn't supplement their, their, uh, their textbook allowance from the state. So this is the way we've done business for more than 25 years in Bartlesville, and basically this is extension of the way we've done things for decades. Uh, this gives you a breakdown. There, uh, you'll see a big part of this is in the bottom. That's going to be pushing 60% of this is going to go to maintenance and technology. Uh, the technology is not for new equipment. This is to replace the computers we already have, and it's replacing them once every seven years. That's the, the uh, average life that we're, we're push, pushing our, our technology toward. The rest of it's for software. And you can see on the, on the round circle there the different pieces of what's in this bond issue. Uh, why are these essential? That's one of the things you see about this. We continue to refer to them as essentials. This is our state funding decline over here on the far right. It uh, doesn't show this year yet. We did just get our first allotment for this year, and it did go down again. Uh, so that's the budget reality we're, we're in for the state. Um, and the, the couple of two or three things that I want to leave you with. Number one, we are spending the money that we have at Bartlesville Public Schools in the place we think it makes the most impact, and that's to make to maintain our, our teacher-student ratio. We have the lowest one in the peer group, and we think that's a major reason why we also have the highest academic performance. Uh, there's some budgetary restrictions that you can't go out and pay for uh, salaries except out of the general fund. And so if we have to push these things back into the general fund, there is an impact of taking away money that we currently spend on teachers. And you can see the impact there at the bottom of that slide. Um, then the other piece that is something that we commonly uh, hear is that, well, we've got too much money in administration. Well, the reality is that we have, while we have the highest student teacher, or the lowest student teacher ratio, we have the highest teacher administrator ratio. The state just published their, last, in April, they published their uh, percent of the, of the budget that goes to administrative uh, purposes, and we were in the 96th percentile. We were, I believe, 508 out of 527 school districts in the state in the lowest uh, percent of our budget that goes to administrative costs. Uh, so the takeaways, there is no tax increase associated with this. Uh, it is directly in line with what the voter feedback we got. It does not impact the 6 through 12 configuration at all. That will be the subject of a follow-up on issue uh, that will be done, will be called once we've had a lot more uh, consensus built, a lot more in, uh, a lot more feedback from the community on what that needs to look like. Uh, so this doesn't do anything to, to change the configuration of 6 through 12. It's focused on essentials, and three quarters of it is for the operations and maintenance that is directly going to allow us to help preserve our class size uh, where it is now. That, uh, again, if you go to this website, and there's a less than 10 minute video that will walk you through this and, and provide some more detail. If there are questions anybody has, I'm happy to answer them. But, I think I'm close to staying within one o'clock. <laughs>